Hey, how are you? I am Jay Fox Unfiltered, and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDX. <laughs> man, my man, oh man. Oh, I'm getting a little bit more regular. Okay, I was about to say, oh, it's been a while because you know I say that every video, but it's it's been okay. So, um, I know you see the title, and no, it's not clickbait. You know, I actually have a problem with something in that book <laughs> or whatever, but um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure you guys have already read. You know, I gave you time to read, you know, um. The book Karma by Keisha and Jeremy. And um, there's four chapters, you know. Um, chapters are there are called um, um, Stalking Bitch. Um, she came to me as a woman. Karma. And Sorry to My Baby Daddy. Not in that order. So it's Sorry to My Baby Daddy. She came to me, me as a woman. Stalking Bitch and then Karma. So it's in that order or whatever. And so it's, it was so interesting to see what you people thought the book was going to actually be about. Like, the, the theories were just crazy. Like, y'all thought um, it was going to be a book about, um, a, a book about, somebody said Jeremy overdosing or something and almost dying or, or something. They thought it was going to be about that. And then a bunch of other people were saying shit like, oh, she's going to, it's going to be about, um, you know, um, baby Jory not being, you know, his, uh, Jeremy's daughter. But I mean, I'm pretty sure the people that said that y'all are die hard Keisha Kaylee fanatics. And I'm pretty sure you've heard her say on more than one occasion. And that jewelry is for Jeremy. I'm pretty sure you saw her air Shanita out like on a, on a call or whatever saying, you know, that is your niece that stop saying my baby's not, I, I don't understand how y'all came to that conclusion. Like, I mean, y'all just amusing yourselves at this time. And what was another theory? Oh, um, something about she cheated. It, they just, y'all just came up with some craziness. But um, she did very well, very well financially on the book. So I'm knowing y'all, y'all know what it's about now. You know, I'm knowing everybody knows what it's about, you know. So basically in the book, she's, um, she's dispelling a lot of rumors, you know. She's talking about what she and Jeremy, you know, went through you know, with his, you know, infidelity and all sorts of other things, you know, she told us some things that we did know, she told us some things that we did not know, you know, like, so, um, like, but what I know, it wasn't, a lot of people just felt that it, it was all peaches and cream between them when it happened, it was a situation where it was like, hey, I'm gonna pick you out a girlfriend, um, let's pick that one, you know, and, you know, I, you, you can go cheat on, I'm gonna pick y'all somebody specifically, and, oh, you got a pregnant oh, that's okay. I don't feel any pain behind it. Everything's okay. I'm okay with this. And that's, it, I never shed a tear and it was just cool. I'm just waiting on another baby. You know, y'all thinking it was, it was some situation like that. Like y'all have really romanticized Keisha in a, a weird way, <laughs> but no. So basically she, um, she talked about how, um, you know, you know, found out like, the stuff that they'd gone through with that. And um, she also said, like I said, some other stuff we didn't know about. Like at one point there was a, um, a young lady that was like stalking her and, you know, like going up to her, you know, befriending her and trying to get like some workout moves and was like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And she ended up um, overhearing the girl in the bathroom talking to someone else like, yeah, you know, I, um, I, 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 she almost caught me, blah, blah, blah. Like Keisha breeds some, some strange, strange characters. And I told her why in person and she bust out laughing or whatever. Like Keisha, Santa Claus, Santa Claus doing exactly what I said. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, she talked about that, which was very, very sad, you know, and I, I know she's learned a lesson with that, you know, you know, she tries to please everybody. She's a, she's a people pleaser and she's nice or whatever, but you know, she's going to think twice before she's going to let somebody just come up to her allegedly not knowing her and randomly like get at her like that or whatever. Um, she talked about Tulum and the backlash, you know, of Tulum <laughs> and, um, you know, all what, you know, Jeremy was going through with Tulum and you know how it came to be you know somebody was they were stalking her stories as usual the stories of all her friends and stuff because you know they have nothing better to do just to worry about somebody give somebody views that they do not like but um you know he saw that and um 
you know, some other stuff happened behind the scenes. And, you know, he was just, um, he wasn't happy about that. Cause you know, he very much, nobody that's, that love genuinely loves somebody wants to see them dance. And he knows that, you know, she likes to dance and, you know, he like it when she turns up or whatever. Cause you know, sometimes she could be, could come off as a little bit reserved or I guess in the past or and it's a little bit now, you know, whatever. So, you know, he, 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 you know, he liked the fact that she turned up, but just not, you know, he, he don't want no dude or no potential suitor within feet of her like feet so um you know just when he came back and um let's see what else did they touch on in the book it was basically like what did he say yeah they told that um you know coming to him as a, a woman and um karma and karma was um written by jeremy oh my gosh <laughs> y'all don't think nobody college educated know how to write that's another thing y'all coming up with. So now y'all saying Jeremy did not write the book. He, he, he wrote the book. He wrote his portion in the book. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> y'all just come up with anything at this point. Y'all really just be coming up, grasping for straws and just coming up with anything. Yes, he absolutely, positively wrote his portion of the book. <laughs> what, what, what was it? What was it that he said that y'all didn't believe? Like the fact of just how much he loves her and, and you know, just how you know he 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 how how he felt when she rejected the engagement. That's another thing that they discussed in the book. Um, that you know, people that in, in close enough to the situation already knew he very much proposed to her before. You know what I mean? He um he took out seventeen thousand dollars. I'm seventeen thousand. I'm tripping. He took out on seven k. You know, he spent his last on her. You know what I mean? Because you know he he wanted to get the ring that her dream ring and stuff like that. So. You know, he thought that she was going to be like, okay, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm going to marry you. Cause you know, a lot of women, he knows she loves her. He, he knows they love each other. So he probably thinking, okay, it wasn't just done because, okay, I did this to you. So you deserve to have this or, you know, maybe I'm going to leave you. It was just in, in that moment. He knew where he wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? He went out, he had his fun, he did whatever. And it just wasn't, it wasn't busting. The fun that he had, it wasn't busting. He knew what he wanted. He knew exactly who he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And it hurt him too bad to see her hurt that bad and it, it hurts him to see you know her getting backlash for you know something that he's done like he just knows where he wants to be when when you know you know so you know Keisha's a lot stronger than a lot of um haters and people like, I guess because like I said she comes off so nice you'll think that she's just weak or something or just super duper green so he's just knowing okay you know he got her he talked to the parents you know which was of course would be hard to do despite what just happened but you know he knew how important it was for to get you know approval family's approval and like um like somebody was saying that you know how the mama feel about blah 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 but you know the mama is always around him and sandra's always around him so she's able to see his love for her in person so that's why it, it wasn't like oh get rid of him here nothing you know stuff like that you know they're, they're pretty everything is going you know well over there so um he proposed to her and she did not like the manner. She didn't, she didn't, she wasn't feeling it like that. Like she was, she was going through something. You know, you want your proposal to be happy. It wasn't supposed to be a situation where, oh, well, you gave me a ring. Oh, well, let me, let me stop crying. Hold up. Let me, let me go on there and stop crying. You know, oh, cause you gave, you know, she wanted to be, even though she knew it was genuine, it just wasn't the right time. Like it, it just wasn't like it, it was the wrong, um, wrong place, wrong time. She still needed to grieve over what happened or whatever. So, you know, somebody desperate or something would have taken it just to just to try to get back at um at the girl in question or whatever just to be like oh see look blah, 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 blah. but that wasn't important like she wants everything that goes um on between jeremy and you know she wants everything to be right there's no rush they're going to be together forever so when um that's less time she got to sit there and plan a wedding because i'm already knowing you know when she do plan a wedding it's gonna be elaborate and all this other stuff but anyway so um, then she told that, and then like I said, with the last one, it was um, karma, which you know, um, you know, Jeremy feeling, um, you know, some type of um, just basically sorry for everything he did, sorry to you know the mother of his children, you know, I mean, sorry for um, for leading um, Ashley on, you know, sorry for what he did to Keisha, sorry that he wasn't a better man, you know, and all this other stuff, and you know, his karma is basically like um, him not being able to see his child as often, you know, he can't. He can't just go and get his child whenever he wants, his son, whenever he wants to get his son. And he wanted all of his children to basically, you know, be raised in the same household. So now 
He got to go through all type of hoops just to try to make that happen or be at the mercy of someone else. So that was his, um, that was his punishment and all that. And some of you might not see it as much, but if you know how important kids are to certain people or whatever, you know, to Jeremy, to, you know, some people are just big on, you know, family or whatever, you would know that, you know, it, it was eating them alive or whatever. So I'm glad they, you know, they all got through all of that and everything, um, everything worked out, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, I, I'm very, as always very proud of her. Like, I liked the way that the book was written. Like it was, it was good. And, um, you know, she got it out and stuff like that. She, she's doing very successful off of it. Like she seems to, um, do be very successful in, you know, everything that she seeks out to do, even when there's people trying to like tear her down or whatever and all this other craziness or whatever. So, um, yes. So, so shout out to Keisha Kaylee, everything that was, that was good. It was a very good read. Um, I, I suggest you guys, you, you should go out and go get it. It was, it was, it was good. You know, go get it. Everybody else has, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> child there was something in that book or whatever you know that um something a part of that book that i totally 100 percent did not agree with and so you know of course i'm gonna be privy to certain things um concerning the book you know before it was um you know before released and all this other stuff so i've been knowing but it was somebody somebody um in that book that she mentioned and when i i i when I was told that that's what was going to happen, oh my gosh, when I say I was hotter than fish grease, I was the fuck hotter than fish grease. I was like, what? I was like, I know you fucking lying. Girl, <laughs> you, if y'all could have seen the, oh, child, I was like, I no, no, absolutely not. I was like, I was hot for a very, very, very long, very long time. And I know some people are probably thinking, okay, well, I think it's me or I think it's me blah, 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 blah. But, um, it could be anybody that I'm talking about in that book. It could be like, it could be a situation where the girl at the gym is my actual, you know, cousin. And I didn't agree with my cousin signing off on that and, and, and whatever. And people, you know, it, it could be anything. So don't think you, it's you, you know, but, um, yes, it was, it was somebody that was mentioned in that book that I did not like. And, um, then there was somebody else that was mentioned in a book that I thought was funny as <laughs> That I thought was funny as hell. I thought that that was hilarious, you know. But um, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. But yes, I, I wasn't in agreement of someone that was mentioned in the book or whatever. I was I, I was the fuck pissed for a long time. <laughs> but everything else, you know. And then I understand why, you know, they had to mention whatever because that is a part of that is a, a true part of um Keisha's story, you know. It, it, I understand. I totally understand because. That is a part of Keisha's story. So all in all, I give the book a 10 out of 10 because the book was, um, the book was very well written. Um, I, it was very, very true. I like, you know, every, I like everything that was about it. It was, it was a very good book. And, you know, um, I mean, you know, stay tuned for her next book or whatever. So that's, that's all I had to say about that. So be sure to get the book. It was great. And I might be seeing y'all tomorrow. I ought to turn this thing off again and then shoot something else for tomorrow like I did the last time. But um, yes, thank you all for watching. And girl hands, girl hands, girl hands.